Trumpet Lord once had a dream. Inside his dream was a tower. A tower which spoke to him. A tower which, well, seemed oddly familiar. He decided to climb it like any normal human being, but it went farther up than he thought. He found two doors, an iron door and a, well, wooden door. He didn't know which one to choose, so he chose the iron door. Hi everyone, it's Trumpet Lord here, and you're watching a TCA video created by the Black Team. This video, Trumpet Lord's Nightmare, was narrated by the one and only Trumpet Lord. I hope you enjoy. He appeared in a room. He thought he was here before once in his life. He saw a trap door on the ground, so he threw a copper ingot at it, realizing he had switched the control button for that. Nothing happened. He decided to get closer to it. Nothing happened. He decided that it was not triggered by his movement. So he decided to go past the trapdoor. He looked around. He found a strange sound around him. He, think, he thought it had something to do with the trapdoor. Then he realized Whatever it was, it's something to do with the, the, the platform thing. He tore away at an iron cage type thing. Noticing that the sound came from there, he decided that the platform was so conspicuous that he threw a uh, torch at it. Nothing happened. That's when he decided to just step on it. When he realized there was a secret passage. He wondered if he could actually make it past it, so he tried. He successfully did. He opened the chests and found some loot. Pumpkin seeds, iron boots. He decided to wear the iron boots. He opened another chest, found some buckets, lapis lazuli. Opened another one, found more buckets, gunpowder, melon seeds, and another iron sword. Because he was so poor in this game, well, this world, my bad, it felt like a game to him, that he stole, well, decided to take all three of the chests with him as well. Then, he got so needy that he decided to steal the pistons as well. He realized his dream allowed him to also get some redstone, some stone bricks and stuff like that, and some more redstone, all that cool stuff. Yeah, that's about it. And another inverter. Then he noticed as he kept on destroying the world, the sound grew louder. He felt as if it was close. He was following the redstone. No reason why. And no reason how. He decided to go back. Got a little lost. And realized he was trapped. Why he just now realized that. The world may never know. That's when he noticed something. Those things, those sounds. They were coming from something. Not somewhere. Someone was watching him from the outside of his dream. He was lost, of course. But he doesn't know how. So he decided to go back, and then he found it. 
passageway back to the passageway. He made it back. And he found, once again, the two doors. The iron door. He thought, since he went to the iron door before, that he should go through this iron door again. That's when he realized a very narrow corridor. He decided to take his time. Be very careful. For he did not know what was nearby. He found it. He found a conspicuous, a very conspicuous. Street floor. He decided that since it was hidden so well, that it must be a trap. So he decided to knock out the walls. Realizing that the creature outside was still watching. He thought his best of luck would be to break the string. He did so. And luckily, he survived. Not knowing that he died. So he continued on his way and went through the iron door. He found himself in another area, noticing that the floor itself was a lot different. Noticing bedrock was surrounding him. He felt very scared. So he went forward to the left, realizing the wall was shutting on him. He was scared. He went the other way. Realizing that wall was crushing him too. He decided to stand back, noticing the platform he had stood on. So he backed up. Decided to go back and go to the wooden door this time. He went through the wooden door, noticing he was in a new place. He was outside near his home. He had somehow woken up from his dream, but was it on another side? He wanted to remember this. So he built a shrine, a doorway, that is, to the world of his dreams. The scientists who were friends with Trumpet Mole stated that he should never return back to his dreams. But those creatures were said to have caused great screams. Tears and the fabric of reality were occurring near his home. How could he sleep? How could he face the truth that was hiding? Years and years, he would constantly be agitated and affected by that memory. 